Many programmers are more comfortable writing in C. However, there are some low-level tasks that either can be better implemented in assembly or can only be implemented in assembly. In this video, we'll talk about how to mix C and assembly code in a project. We'll discuss two different scenarios. First, how to embed assembly code in a C program. Second, if C and assembly programs are in different files, how can they call each other? I will show you how a C program calls assembly subroutine and access a variable defined in assembly code. In addition, how does assembly program calls a C function and access a C variable? A C program can use this keyword underscore underscore ASM to specify that a function is going to implement in assembly. The assembly implementation must follow the procedure call standard to receive arguments, preserve registers via the stack, and return the result to the caller. In this example, the subroutine modifies register R4. That's R4 must be pushed onto the stack at the beginning and pop off the stack to recover its original value at the end. Additionally, following the procedure call standard, the result must be returned in register R0. Sometimes, a C program has to use assembly instructions to make optimization or access processor-specific instructions. For example, ARM Codex ARM4 offers a special instruction called CLZ. It counts the number of leading zeros in a 32-bit integer. In order to use this instruction in the C program, we can wrap the CLZ instruction in a C function as shown here. Then, this C function can be conveniently called by other C programs. Instead of declaring a whole function as assembly, we can use underscore underscore ASM to declare a block of assembly instructions within a C function. In this case, the assembly code cannot directly access registers by name and also does not need to preserve registers for the caller. The compiler automatically generates necessary code to preserve register for the caller. The assembly code should treat each C variable as a register. These C variables are called virtual registers. They can be used in assembly instructions. The command made within the assembly block must be in the C style rather than assembly style. This example shows how a C program calls assembly subroutine. Different from the previous examples, the C program and the assembly subroutine are in two different source files, one in main.c, the other in strandlands.s. The assembly program must export the subroutine name to make it visible when object files are linked to build an executable file. The function name is a symbol. The export statement informs the linker that the symbol is defined in the current assembly file. The C program must declare the assembly subroutine by using the keyword extern to inform the compiler that the implementation of this function is in a different file. This example shows how an assembly program calls a C function. Again, the C code and assembly code are in two different files. The function name string length is a symbol. The assembly code must use import to inform the sampler that the symbol string length cannot be resolved in the current assembly file. This symbol is defined in a separate file. In addition, the assembly program must follow the procedure call standard to pass arguments to the C function and receive the result from the C function. For example, this C function only takes one argument and the assembly program pass this string pointer in register R0 to the C function. The assembly code expects the C function return the results in register R0. Here is another example. It shows how assembly program access a variable defined in C. The variable name counter is a symbol. The assembly code must use import to inform the assembler that the symbol counter 
is defined in a separate file. A C program can access a variable defined in the assembly. In this example, the variable counter is defined in the assembly code. In the C code, we will use the keyword extern to inform the linker that this variable is defined in a different file. A symbol can be optionally exported as weak. For example, the startup assembly code ex exports the symbol sysstick handler with weak specified. The weak keyword informs the linker that a different implementation, if available, takes precedence over the list one. In the startup assembly file, the sysstick handler provides a default implementation. It essentially runs a dead loop. The dot represents the instruction itself, branch to itself, essentially a dead loop. If a different implementation of the sysstick handler is available in the project, the linker will choose this new implementation and ignore the weak one. The weak keyword is a simple way to provide a default implementation. If a more specialized implementation is available, the default implementation is ignored automatically when object files are linked together to build the final executable. Thank you for watching.